After a historic moon landing, India's space agency has now launched a rocket to study the sun. Scientists cheered during the Indian Space Research Organization's broadcast of the successful launch. The mission aims to study solar winds that create auroras, commonly known as the northern or southern lights. Scientists also hope to learn more about the effect of solar radiation on the thousands of satellites in orbit. Longer term, they say data collected can help them better understand the sun's impact on Earth's climate patterns. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is pushing for the country's space missions to play a larger role on the world stage, which is currently dominated by the U.S. and China. Congratulations, India. Congratulations, ISRO. And while the whole world watched this with bated breath, it is indeed, indeed a sunshine moment for India. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, for making this happen by opening up new vistas for India's space sector and telling us that sky is not the limit. Ladies and gentlemen, Indian scientists had been working, toiling day and night for years and years together. But now, now comes the moment of vindication, the moment of redeeming the pledge to the nation. And coming close on the heels of successful Chandrayaan-3 landing, the successful launch of Aditya L1 is also a testimony to the whole of science and a whole of nation approach with which we have sought to adopt in our work culture. While ISRO is credited in executing this mission, the science institutes across the country have come forward to contribute in one form or the other, in small measure or big, to this mission. But that, having said that, gives me the confidence to say that this day, the 2nd of September 2023, is a day of reckoning when we move on into the next 25 years of Amrit Kal and Mother India pledges with the collective will and collective effort of our 140 crore children to reach and occupy the place of pride on the world pedestal.